Welcome to the Friday Special Shave of the Day, Episode 2. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving. And if this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the little bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. Now in tonight's Friday special, we are doing a blade battle. So this is the Wade and Butcher battling the Tier Isar straight razors. All right, excellent. So far so good, really enjoying it. And now we're gonna continue on. And I'm gonna continue with my Wade and Butcher for gentlemen's use. This is out of the 1800s, probably 1840 to 1860. 15 sixteenths blade, barber's notch, smiling blade, and it is a wedge. Very nice. All right. Next, we are using my TI that we honed up the other day. And now this guy is new old stock, and it's got to be out of the 60s or 70s. I'm not sure. If anybody can help me date this, that would be brilliant. All right, but now this is 15 16 blade, and it is quarter hollow. Very nice. Really working well for me. All right, and now for our soap, we are using Stash Soapworks. This is the Aqua. Just a fabulous scent, guys. If you haven't tried Stash Soapworks, you need to give it a try. All right, and... We are using my Omega 10,098, and it is loaded, which means this is episode two, and let's get going with this, all right? So this is really kind of interesting. I've taken these two blades. Uh, they're about 100 years apart, I'm going to say, as uh, far as I know, and uh, we're, we're just trying them out, and I'm shaving half of my face with one. I'm shaving half of my face with the other one, all right? And let's just see how it goes. All right. So hopefully uh, you guys are enjoying the Friday specials. Now, if you have any uh, questions or ideas for more Friday specials, just you know, put them in the comments there, guys, and I'll be, uh, if I can film it and use it, I'm going to give you a shout out, and uh, we're going to uh, uh, just keep spreading the love on this shaving thing, guys. Yeah. All right. Now, pass one was with the grain. Now, this is episode two, which is a pass and a half. And I think I forgot, down in the description, I will have a uh, link to episode one if you missed it. All right. This is episode two, which means pass and a half. We're going to go across the grain on my neck. We're going to go against the grain on my cheeks. And then right through here, this is going to be against the grain as well. All right. Now, we're going to start with the Wade and Butcher for this side of my face. Okay, and now I did this with the other blade, so I'm going to finish this section and my chin with this one, and we're just kind of double up on it.
All right, there we go. Now, I'm going to put the Wade Butcher down, and you're going to move on to the TI. All right, now we're going to do this side. Okay. Now, let me see. I'm going to do it like that, I think. Got to be a little more careful with this one. I'm not as used to this as I am my other blade, that Wade Butcher that I've had for a long time. All right, get the soap on that. There we go. Now I get that blade cleaned off. Okay, now I'm gonna switch that handle up again like normal. There we go. Okay. Now clean that off. And put it down. Next, going back to the Wade and Butcher. Going to hold it the same way. Just switching hands. That's all. All right, looking good. All right, okay, so now we're done with that one. We're going to switch back now to the TI and finish this side off. All right, there we go. Now, some of my thoughts about these two blades. Now, 
the Wade and Butcher I've had a very long time. Okay, and I'm really used to it. And I like the weight in the heft on it. It for me has a good balance as far as that goes. And I do enjoy the uh, wider blades. I really do. I don't have a problem uh, shaving with the wider blades. And in all honesty, guys, you shouldn't either because it really is not that big of a deal. All right. Now, this is going to be our half pass, which we're going to do the jawline in the neck. And this is primarily against the grain. All right. Now, like I say, the TI is lighter weight. So if you like a lightweight razor or lighter, then uh, you, I'm sure you're going to like it. Now, as far as comfort goes, I'm telling you guys, I think they're both pretty comfortable, right? Um, it's, it's amazing. There, there's like a hundred years difference uh, between the two, but they're nice. Now, I have to say, I also like the wedges. I really do. And this is this quarter hollow is brilliant. It I can I can live with a quarter hollow. It's really very comfortable. All right, let's go. Wow. Okay. Very nice. All right. Now, it, like I say, the TI is a, definitely a lighter weight razor. And uh, uh, it also doesn't hold the same amount of lather because the blade is just so, it, it's smaller, you know. So since it's so much smaller, It can only hold so much lather. All right. There we go. Now, I did do a crossover on that one, but that's just the way I shave. So we got that. Now we get this one in. I will say the uh, 6 8 blade uh, may be uh, a little bit more maneuverable, uh, but I actually don't have problems with the big old Wade and Butcher either, so, you know, I, I'm pretty comfortable with it. All right. Now, 
There we go. So now, alum everywhere. Now for my final thoughts, um, I like both razors. I really do. Um, they're both really comfortable and do a fine job. And I'm telling you, the shave on either one is good. Uh, if I really was backed into a corner and uh, was asked to pick one, I would have to pick the Wade and Butcher uh, at least right now because I've had it so much longer and I just really enjoy it. I enjoy that big blade. And I didn't show you that. Okay. For our aftershave, we're using Lucky Tiger. Good stuff. It really is. So, yeah, I would probably go with the Wade and Butcher right now. But later, you know, it may change. Because that TI is a great razor. This is like the second shave with it, though. All right. Now we're going to top this off with Nivea Poche Bomb. Excellent. Yeah, so this is the second time I've used the TI, and uh, I'm going to probably just have to get a little bit more used to it, but it'll be good, and see, no big deal. And really, both razors shave about the same as far as smoothness and leaving the beard good. So it, it's all good. All right. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. Really appreciate you and all you do for me. Click right over here to see episode one, how this shave began. If you missed it, click down here on a video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.